Scraps of headlights are scattered off this country road in Jericho, along with this knockdown warning sign about power lines. Take a look at these muddy tracks showing you whoever was driving lost their grip and caused this close call scene. We hit the pole hard, then I hit my um, head on the seat hard. The bus driver ran outside the road into a ditch, which had the bus leaning a little bit and impacted a, a light pole. Bruh, hold up. Marcus Blackwell's two sons, seven-year-old Ryan and 10-year-old Markellian, were on a Marion school bus when this crash happened on a rainy Tuesday afternoon. I'm scared to go back on the bus now. But it's not the accident that has Blackwell sicken with the Marion School District. He says instead of the bus driver calling police, he called his boss. What's worse, no one from the district told the boy's parents about the crash. They heard about it from their kids. The first call should have been made is to the authorities so paramedics could have been called out to make sure that nothing was wrong with my children. Jeff Ultimus, deputy superintendent with the district, didn't want to go on camera, but told me both the transportation director and the bus driver believe the incident was just minor. And because the kids appeared to be OK and didn't seem hurt, that's why the transportation director drove them to their next destination in a district vehicle. The district says from now on, they'll make sure to talk to the parents of children involved in bus incidents. But Blackwell believes the district doesn't really care about his kids. Hell, they good. I'm just take them on to the house and, 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 and whatever come about from it, they good. We got the bus out of there. They can't never say we did or did this or did that. An insult that is keeping these two elementary schoolers off the bus. Yeah, we're going to the dock and we're not riding the bus no more. In Marion, Arkansas, Lise Preston, WREG News Channel 3.